Hi there everyone, this is Jeff Perkins with JD Cutlery uh, doing a quick review on a on three uh, ZT0620CFs that I have up for sale. Um, these have uh, all been anodized. Uh, we've got a couple different things going on each one. Um, we'll go ahead and start up with the one up front. Um, this one is a pretty cool looking, uh, it's got a really nice green and then you can see some blue hues coming through here. Doesn't, that kind of shows it right there. Um, lighting in some of this anodizing really does kind of throw things different in different lights. But you get that nice green with the blue hue going through it. Then we've got a really nice, rich uh, copper, well, actually, no, more of a bronze in the, uh, the drizzle that's been done. Um, I have taken all the steel hardware, buffed it out, and then heat anodized all of that bronze on this side. On the other side, it is still just the standard black with the carbon fiber, so it looks a little more uniform threw a nice little lanyard on there to match everything up. Really happy with the way this one looks. I really like that drizzle on there. It matches the uh, matches the uh, hardware really nicely and uh, the colors really complement each other. Uh, this is serial number 2507 and this is one of the CTS 204P steel uh, models. Um, they're not doing the M390 anymore. Um, not sure exactly why that is. Haven't really researched it at this point. Um, this is another of the uh, 204P steels. Um, this one has been acid stone washed. I did the hardware. So we got the pocket clip, the screws, the pivot, and the blade on both sides. Again, I did leave the black on the carbon fiber side just because I think it looks a little bit more uniform. Um, kind of like the way that looks. Uh, the carbon fiber on these are really, really nice. No problems with any voids, no rough spots or anything like that. So all three of the carbon fiber is real nice on. Again, another lanyard. Um, action on these is really nice. Let's see if I can get it in here. Um, this one has been sharpened on the Wicked Edge, so you got that nice, uh, pretty much mirror polish. Um, there are some little tiny micro scratches, but when you're out in the sun, that thing is flashing like a mirror for you. There you go, you can see it nicely there. Um, really offsets nicely. I'm trying to uh, Wicked Edge anything that I do the acid stone wash on these days. You can see the top and all that lock up is right about 40% on this one. Again, action on all these is super smooth and silky. I am very happy uh, with the stone wash effect, the acid stone wash effect on these. I'm starting to do more and more. I've got a couple uh, 0900s uh, that'll be up for sale this weekend on my website at jdcutlery.com. Um, I'll also have another 0450 and uh, the first one of the 0808s that I've done in acid stone wash. This one is a really cool uh, green background uh, with the purple. Um, there are a couple teeny, teeny, tiny, you can see one little tiny scratch there, and there's one little tiny one here. Um, so tiny imperfections on this one. We'll see how this one goes. If it uh, doesn't sell, I'll just re-anodize it sometime soon and uh, throw a different look on it. And this is another one of the CTS. Uh, 204P steels. Serial number on this one is 2502. You can see that there are some little tiny scratches on this one. 
unfortunately I got clattered around with some other stuff. Um, so if you're interested on this one, it'll be on the website. Uh, if you shoot me a message, I'd probably make you a deal as opposed to me having to re-anodize it. But if it doesn't sell pretty soon here, I will just go ahead and do something a little different with it. So those are the three of the of the uh, 0620 CFs that I have for sale right now. Um, all turned out real nice. Very happy with the looks on these. Um, this one I did anodize the, the uh, thumb disc as well, as well as the hardware. So this one's looking really sharp. And again, all three of these are up for sale at uh, jdcutlery.com. Um, they're also for sale on eBay, but of course if you go to my website, you're going to get a little better pricing because we're not looking at the eBay fees over there. Well, thank you very much for... Uh, checking out the video and we'll see you on the next one.